Today, we're diving into a thought-provoking topic that challenges traditional notions of success and paves the way for a paradigm shift in the professional landscape. Join me as we explore why, in 2024, why A students might find themselves working for C students. According to Robert Kiyosaki, A students learn to do a job while C students learn about money. Kiyosaki believes that the education system is outdated and trains children for a time that no longer exists. Our education system sometimes misses the mark when it comes to recognizing potential. Take legends like Albert Einstein and Thomas Edison, labeled as misfits in their school days, yet they went on to revolutionize the world. The question is, how do C students often overshadow their A counterparts in real life? It's all about learning what A students might regard as irrelevant. The real world values skills beyond the traditional grading system, emphasizing creativity, resilience, and practical problem solving. In the 2012 presidential election, the importance of finances taught at home was evident. Obama and Romney's tax revelations sparked discussions, highlighting the impact of financial dexterity. The lesson here, give your kids a head start by teaching them how to manage their finances, a skill often overlooked in formal education. Prevent them from squandering their hard-earned dollars by instilling financial wisdom early on. The workforce is evolving, and as the world progresses, traditional pathways are becoming obsolete. Boomerang kids emerge. Young adults unable to navigate the workforce independently, relying on aging parents for support. The pressure to attend college clashes with the shifting job market. As the world changes, so should our approach to preparing the next generation for success. Robert Kiyosaki believes that money problems can make you smarter. It's not about avoiding problems, but learning to handle them effectively. The shift from an employee mindset to an investor mindset bridges the gap between wealthiness and poorness. It's not about the job you have, but how you navigate money problems that determines your financial success. When we delve into the roots of education, early thinkers like John Dewey and George Counts had diverse perspectives. Dewey believed education was about teaching students how to live pragmatically in their current environment, while Counts emphasized preparing individuals to live as contributing members of society. However, both diverged from the notion that education was a means to secure jobs. As industries burgeoned, schools became reliable sources of skilled labor. Students underwent tests and exams to qualify for jobs, leading to a symbiotic relationship between academia and industry. Unfortunately, as the world evolved, our educational systems remained stagnant, still relying on age-old teaching methods. The advent of the Internet revolutionized learning, making knowledge accessible. The future of work is steering towards an entrepreneurial and innovation-driven economy, where individuals work as specialists for multiple companies rather than as generalists for one. This shift demands creativity and innovation, traits often associated with C students. In the narrative of traditional academia, we are ingrained with the belief that the trajectory to professional success follows a linear path, where A students outshine others, securing top positions in the corporate realm. Yet the real world often defies these expected norms, revealing a dynamic landscape where unexpected success stories unfold. Contrary to conventional wisdom, it's not uncommon to witness A students working under the leadership of C students while B students carve successful paths in government roles. This phenomenon challenges our preconceived notions about success and emphasizes the critical role of diverse skill sets in the workforce. Moving beyond the confines of grades, the real world demands a more expansive skill repertoire. A students excelling in academic pursuits might find themselves lacking in the broader spectrum of skills required beyond the classroom. On the flip side, C students, often deemed average in traditional grading systems, may possess a unique blend of creativity, resilience, and practical problem-solving skills that are indispensable in navigating the complexities of the professional realm. The entrepreneurial spirit of C students is particularly noteworthy. 
Despite being labeled as underachievers, they often possess the drive to create opportunities rather than passively waiting for them. Their ability to take risks, learn from failures, and think innovatively positions them for remarkable success in the entrepreneurial landscape, showcasing that success extends far beyond the confines of academic performance. In the context of government roles, B students who may not have consistently taught their classes but demonstrated a balance of theoretical knowledge and practical application excel. Their adeptness at navigating complex systems, collaborating effectively, and adhering to rules and regulations makes them well-suited for public service roles. Success in the professional world is intricately connected to networking and emotional intelligence, skills not solely reflected in academic achievements. While A students may excel academically, their interpersonal skills might not always match their scholarly prowess. On the other hand, C and B students, driven by their diverse skill sets, often find it easier to connect with individuals from various backgrounds, fostering opportunities for collaboration and advancement. Bringing it all together, the notion that A students work for C students and B students thrive in government roles challenges the conventional beliefs surrounding the correlation between academic performance and professional achievement. It underscores the importance of cultivating a diverse skill set, fostering adaptability, and encouraging a willingness to transcend traditional boundaries in the pursuit of success. In the dynamic and ever-evolving fabric of the real world, success is not confined to a single predetermined path. Instead, it is an intricately crafted tapestry woven from the unique strengths of individuals, irrespective of their academic labels. Why A students work for C students? Number one, blind adherence to academic norms. A students adhere rigorously to traditional academic approaches, judging everyone by the same yardstick. In contrast, C students acknowledge diverse learning methods, embracing a variety of channels for knowledge acquisition. Number two, fear of failure. A students are conditioned to fear failure as it equates to a setback in the structured academic system. This fear hampers their ability to step out of their comfort zones and take risks. C students, unburdened by this fear, are far more likely to challenge the status quo. Number three, need for approval. Seeking validation from superiors is common among A students who often invest significant energy in pleasing their bosses to avoid being perceived as failures. C students, however, derive satisfaction from creating their paths to success, minimizing dependence on others' approval. In conclusion, higher education isn't universally damning. Successful students leverage it to reach their goals. Rather than condemning the entire system, we should critically evaluate both institutions and ourselves to identify areas for improvement. Success and failure are subjective, and this reflection encourages individuals to assess their lives and make informed decisions for personal and societal growth. If you enjoyed this eye-opening exploration, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more thought-provoking content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. We'll see you next time.